Peace everyone, this is a video for anyone who is working in Cubase Pro or maybe even Nuendo and you have multiple files where you may have some are stereo, some are mono, um, some of them have different lengths and the export dialog um, way is not helping. So I wanted to make this quick video of how to actually get all your audio files keeping stereo, keeping the mono, and keeping all the effects that you may have added. So we're going to go ahead and select all the audio files. So we have three stereo, three mono. We're going to go up here to File, Export, Selected Events. You're going to get hit with this dialog box. At the top, make sure that the mode says As Separate Events. We're going to want to choose Channel Settings. If you choose either of these two, you will be most likely getting a stereo file because if your output, your main output is a stereo, that's how it kind of comes out. So channel settings will preserve anything that you have as far as stereo and mono. And dry obviously will be without any effects that you may have added. If you have some delays or reverbs, you may want to turn on the tail property. I don't at this moment and you can choose your own um, naming scheme. So once you have that, make sure that you are exporting to the right um, file that you have on your desktop or wherever you have this project. Go ahead and export it. And then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that uh, all the files that are stereo are stereo and all the files that are mono are mono. So we have one. Yep, we have three stereo and three mono. So I hope that was helpful. Um, drop any comments if you have any questions. Let me know if you guys actually knew this method because I just learned it and I wanted to just share it with anyone who's doing uh, possibly game audio or maybe sound packs and you have a bunch of different files that are different lengths and maybe different formats. So um, <laughs> let me know in the comments uh, with that piece.